Hello guys and girls, welcome uh, to another video. Today we are drawing SCP-3114 by high demand. Many people uh, wanted this SCP, so here we are. And this one, many people requested it, but one of my most loyal fans is Froypro. He leaves nice comments and stuff like that, so we mention him here. He uh, he wanted this, so we're gonna draw it for him. And it's um, it's called "Wouldn't It Be Chilly." This uh, SCP steals skins and wears them. So yeah, and it acts like uh, tries to act like a human. Uh, kind of impersonating. And if it finds the perfect skin, it won't. It will be docile for some time. But if it has a bad skin, it can be quite hostile and attack on sight so and the SP foundation did some tests like it, they gave him um, a skin that he found suitable and you could interact with the SCP because he was docile and kind of happy so my plan here is um, He's kind of wearing skin here and it's loose and sloppy, you know, because it's it's skin over a skeleton, no muscle, no no stuff like that. So it's gonna be very loose and sloppy. Then uh, here he, it's like he's pulling down the the face. That's the only part left. And this is a really bad skin, like it's rotting and it's seen better days for sure, so. Like so. Something like this, do the teeth on the skeleton, just like this. We're gonna work more on that. Just get the base shape down a little bit like this, as we do. So thank you, Froy Pro. I see all your comments. I see you commenting your nice things on my videos. So thank you so much. And I hope you like where we go with this drawing. And kind of in the background, he has loose skin, kind of hanging by hooks maybe, or something like that, just something very loosely. And we go with the rule of three. So him and these characters, the rule of three. I don't know if that's a rule, but I just made that up. But um, for the SCP mask, we had two characters in the background also, so we we're gonna go with that. So here, here the ribs are gonna show. And like I said, it's gonna be loose. These pants are kind of covering up that. We don't want any NSFV stuff. No nudity in this, of course. Don't wanna get demonetized or stuff like that. So yeah, he's put on the skin quite loosely, not good at all. Um, very sloppily put on, kind of like this. And let's see how this 
how this turns out. Like so. Like so, let's do some basic shading here, as we do. And thank you guys so much for liking, watching the video and uh, commenting as always if you want your recipe just leave your comment below leave your comment below on this video or my other videos and um, I will respond put it on my to-do list I have like <laughs> we have grown crazy amount recently so I have over 20 recipe requests which is fun And if you want me to draw my own very original design of some SAP, then that's also an option. It's very much possible. Like so it's kind of it's very loose. It's not a good skin he found. Maybe there's flies here. Like so. We take the stomp pen, we go through here, so I posted three videos yesterday to celebrate 1,400 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys all so very much. It uh, really means so much to me. And of course, there's gonna be some hate comments like oh, you can't draw or stuff like that, but most of you guys' comments are nice and uh, it warms my heart. This is a way for me to escape reality you know you know I suffer from depression and um, this is a way for me to kind of escape um, I get lost in this world while drawing just creating drawing it's an escape for me just like may maybe gaming is an escape or Stuff like that, you know, so let's fix the arms here, they're a bit too long, way too long actually. Don't have to be very detailed, this background, just that it's kind of humanoid. Give it a little bit more shape and form. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna do much cleaning, clean up here because it's gonna get smushed out anyways. So we're gonna do that near the end. All right. Now we work more on the values, so the darker parts will be darker. The lighter parts will be, you guessed it, lighter. So... Like so... The ribs here gonna be in darkness a little bit. So the ribs are exposed like this. Kind of skeleton arm here. This guy is a real definition of a zombie, like. Very zombie-like. 
And all this guy wants really is to fit in. He just wants to fit in with us humans. And one, one uh, good spot for him to do that is during Halloween. He can fit in quite nicely during Halloween, like the people around him would go like, ooh, what a nice costume you have. Wow, how did you make that? If they only knew. Like so, very skinny, very, like so, and here is skin kinda sagging on his foot because he didn't put it on properly and I plan on having this video be shorter 40 minutes we're gonna strive for with this one because the, the last few ones have been over an hour and it, we have had really good reasons for why, because we added backgrounds and stuff like that, really complex. But on this one, we're gonna strive for 40 minutes, so. And I think we can do that if we just focus, concentrate, stuff like that, so yeah. Thank you again for watching, and if you wanna draw with me while listening to me, and drawing then please do let's create a little art community here and um, learn from each other basically like so and here's the nose of the the person the mask kind of not the mask it's a face really That's a really scary looking, <laughs> yeah. Do the collarbones a little bit here and it's, the skin is not really, it doesn't want to fit his neck, it's kind of collecting here on his collarbone this arm is a little better his, he put on it a little bit better there Like so. Like so. Let's give this more shadow down here. Yeah, I'm having so much drawing this. This SCP series is really, really so much fun. And I'm glad you guys enjoy it too. Um, I guess it shows when, when you have fun doing something, it kind of affects other people also. They can kind of see you having fun and yeah. Maybe we make a nipple here just to make it look like a uh, body the clothes got destroyed somehow i don't know how but yeah just some some body horror i really like drawing body horror i really love body horror um the thing is one of my favorite movies the fly uh, all of those good stuff it's really really into that really <laughs> messed up like so I 
and he has kind of this happy expression. He doesn't know. He doesn't care or he doesn't know how horrible it is what he's doing. And if the skin doesn't fit him, he can just wear the skins uh, behind him, you know? He has an assortment of uh, clothes. He has a really nice wardrobe. He can uh, change his wardrobe whenever he wants, really, which is um, good for him, I guess. So we go through with the stomp pan here, like so. Some of the highlights are gonna get removed as you know by now. We have a very good workflow while drawing these. Um, that we're just gonna be sticking to. Give this little shadow here, so like so. Like the head is casting a shadow, like so. And they're kind of folded. They're not, there's skins, so they have big folds like this. All right. Let's fill in some of the flies. Like so. We do some cleanup, a little bit too much, a little bit of cleanup. And the light is gonna be coming from above, so we do a little like that. I love doing that type of lightning, as you guys know by now. Um, the, the sun or the light coming from above, casting a shadow below. I absolutely am a fan of that. Doesn't work for all drawings, but whenever I can use it, I do. Like so. Give the face a bit more shape. Do a bit more cleanup just to so get a really nice, nice silhouette going here. I want the jaws to be really obvious. So, and he's pulling the skin, so there's gonna be some highlights there. The ribs, skeleton, gonna catch light here.
like so. So yeah, the skin is going down like so. Slowly, slowly starting to take shape as you can see here. We just keep work on it, keep working and eventually we're, we'll get there. Maybe the shorts have pockets like so. Most jeans and stuff have pockets, so. Like so. Skeleton foot here. Um, he completely missed that part of the the foot with with skin. Like so, and yeah, I plan on posting. Oops, plan on posting each day recipes or whatever, whatever we plan on drawing. Recipe, how to draw drawing tutorials, uh, cartoon verses, whatever it might be, we we will be drawing it and posting each day. Uh, let's give the neck a bit more love and I think those that's just gonna be skeleton it's gonna be bone like so And we're gonna do this and save the line art for the very last because we don't want the line art to go through the line art three times. It's not very effective and it's not very fun for me. So we try to be as effective as possible with, with our drawing process. I think we might be happy with the silhouette we got, have going on here. Um, so let's start filling it in with uh, this pen. Soft pen gives uh, sharper lines. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then the skin here, skin.
skin face. So, and I guess this arm here is quite fitting. He put it on quite nice, but there's still gonna be folds and creases everywhere. Really scary stuff like Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff scary scary stuff like so those are the ribs Yeah, kind of looks looks like shorts now, which is nice. So, kind of jeans, shorts maybe or something like that. Whatever this poor person was wearing. Like so. Yeah, I'm kind of a fan of where we're going with this. Um, kind of, kind of a fan. So. Just like this, and then we have the skin here. He put on one leg of the skin. Very sloppily. It's collected here on the near the foot. Like so. 
so. Same with the foot, he kind of put it on very, very sloppily. So folds and creases everywhere, like so. It's a really creepy foot. I hate it. And let's see how we do here. Yeah, it's kind of breaking here, the skin from... A bit like so, so skeleton is showing. I don't know, let's see where we go. I know that here I want... I want skeleton to be showing, like so. Kind of folds creases here, didn't put on the skin properly. He was in a rush, maybe. Let me sharpen my pen a little bit, just to be able to get even finer details. Like so. And then we fill in this a little bit. Give it give it a little bit of love, not too much. Like so. Very diffuse, very thin lines. Same here. Like so maybe. A little bit of love here. These are chains, I imagine. Like so. Give the floor a, a little bit of um, so it doesn't look like he's floating. Just some texture here. Then we fill in the dark parts. A little bit more here. I know it says in the SAP description that um, he puts it, he's very careful to put on the skin properly, not to damage it, but this is like he's testing skins and this is 
probably not not the skin he wants. Maybe the person got killed in a very gruesome way or we don't know the full picture what happened here. Yeah, kind of loses the finition here because it's so sloppy. So it's just sloppy. There's no kneecap, it's all just sagging. Nasty stuff. Nasty, nasty stuff. Still gradient here on the skeleton, so darker uh, below, lighter up above. Like so. <clears throat> Uh, skin is quite translucent. It catches a lot of um, light, bounce light, etc. So we can work on that here. <clears throat> I think this arm is actually, it looks too clean now compared to all the other places on the body, so we give it a bit sag. It's sagging here a bit in the, on the elbow, like so, yeah. Like it's melting, kinda. Like so, now we can do more highlights. So this is the belly button here. We want, don't want that to disappear. It will add to the creepy factor. If you see that. Like so.
Let the shoulders catch some of that rim light. Uh, maybe it's catching some here. So. Just working on highlights here. Uh, this is like a button. It's gonna have a little highlight spot here, like so. Just a very small, small highlights here and there just to Get the feeling we want of this drawing. Kinda looks like a scarf, the skin. And maybe the skin is going behind as well, a little bit, so that will be in shadow. Actually, the ribs here, there's gonna be skin behind here make it look a bit more three-dimensional this way like so Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, all the likes, all the support recently. We have gained a crazy amount of followers in the past past month. And I'm just gonna keep drawing and hope that we grow more and more and more, get more views and so I can just pump out more of these SAPs to more people. and. Uh, the more people we have, the more quests we have. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And if you wanna look at my profile, uh, now, uh, before this video I updated my banner on my page and I think it kinda summarizes quite nicely what this channel is about. There's like five pictures one one is the cartoon versus one is the SAP one is time-lapse and I'm quite happy with it because before we just had a very very basic not like not even basic below basic just my text with a black background which isn't very interesting to look at so there's a big improvement from from before. Uh, if you want to look at that and give me feedback, then I am all ears. Yeah, uh, this is starting to take real nice shape. I really like where we went with the skeleton face. It looks really creepy and just adding this shadow here did so much for the shape sometimes that's all you need just a, a little shadow here a little highlight there and you can get some amazing results
So I'm working on the silhouettes here again. I'm um, cleaning up. Like so. And we clean up this. So it doesn't blend into the main character. That's like the skin suit's hand here. Like so. Maybe the, sh the chains here have some highlights to them. So we make some parts lighter here, just a little bit. Let's take a little water break. Like so. And same with this, we fix the silhouettes on this. You want the silhouettes to be really clear. So it's easier for the eyes to distinct between what is background, what is foreground, what is main character, what is background character, etc. Like so. Work on the seams here. Just like that. Work on the, the skull shape a bit more. I see it's, the lines have been diffused a little bit, so we re add some lines here.
sharpen the pen a little bit more just to get sharper edges. One second, guys. Like so. Just like this. Work a bit more on the hands and the arms. And we're gonna give these some texture now. Which is a really fun process, really enjoy that. Add some dots and pieces here and there. And then I think we are pretty much done with this one. We're gonna be sticking to this drawing process for future videos. Just it's a very nice workflow to have here for me. I feel really comfortable drawing this way so that's what we're gonna be doing. Some scars, maybe some, some texture, just to make it look a bit more interesting. This is the very final part of the drawing process, and then, then we, we're pretty much done. Please uh, tell me what you think about this drawing guys after uh, I'm finished. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and also remember to subscribe so you can get more of these awesome drawing videos. Also remember to hit the 
bell icon so you're notified whenever I post. Like I said, I post every day. If I don't post every day, something has happened. Maybe I'm sick, maybe something has happened, but I plan on posting every day, so. Like so. Maybe we give this a little bit more love, some texture. Dots and pieces here and there, some darkness. Maybe there's a mouth hair here, maybe there's eyes there. Just work on the values a bit more here. Try to, where it's too bright, we can lower that. Where it's too dark, we can make it lighter. And I'm no autonomy experts so this foot is not accurate in any way but it's good enough you know you can see it's it's a foot stuff like that so perfect maybe give a bit more flies Same here, a bit of some flies. This really, really degraded corpses, really not in the best condition at all. Now we do uh, erase some here on the silhouettes again. And after that, I think we call it quits on this drawing because I'm starting to feel quite happy where where we are at. Uh, I hope I have a bit more luck editing this video because I was editing um, SCP-173 the other day, my original design, and the program crashed, like the file crashed three times, and I cursed out loud because <laughs> I was Two times I was almost done with editing and then crashed. So it was just like, I give up kind of feeling. But I can't, I can't let that stop me. It's just things like that happen and I'll have to try and maybe save more, save my projects more so that doesn't happen. Or, yeah, you know, stuff like that. You can avoid things like that by saving more. So we are gonna be stopping here at one hour. Thank you guys um, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.